One track, two cars and a stopwatch. It's an old versus new fifth gear shootout with one simple question to answer. What's quickest? The world of rallying has given us some very special road cars, turning humble hatchbacks into four-wheel drive hooligans with devastating performance. Toyota have been away from this market for some time, their last decent effort being this, the 90s WRC legend, the sleeker GT4 ST205. Now they're back with the Yaris. Yes, a Yaris. But looks can be deceptive because the only thing this shares with your Nan's car is the headlights, taillights and the aerial. This is the new GR Yaris, 30 grand's worth of homologation spec motor. It's a bespoke machine and on paper it's running pretty close to that Sega Rally Hero. But which is fastest round the track? First up, it's a Sega. This car was made famous really by Toyota getting up to no good and effectively cheating in the World Rally Championship by having a very clever turbo air restrictor which basically gave them another 50 horsepower. You know, that was the year which Colin McRae won the WRC for Subaru. You know what, it's 20 odd years old this. <laughs> it's pretty good. Quite a lot of steering you need to put in, but once the car set, it's... Wow. I'll tell you what also this car was famous for. Do you remember Sega Rally? Well, it was the car. Let's have a look and see what lap time we can do. This is more like it. Now this ST205 featured a very complicated front suspension system called a Super Strut. And it was you know, lots of different multi-links, all designed to give it just a little bit more control. And I must say, the steering is very good. And the old rally hero crosses the line in 1 minute 25.2. That'll do. It's an old car, we need to look after it, don't we? Let's see if the hot newcomer can beat that. Now this Yaris GR is a proper homologation special. Now performance wise, the specs are impressive. You know, five and a half seconds to 16, it's got best part of 260 horsepower and a little tiny three cylinder engine. Now this is the most powerful production three cylinder engine in the world. Now this has got this circuit pack, which is basically some really good goodies, you know, it's got 18 inch BBS forged alloys, it's got uh, torsion disc front and rear, it's the best part of three and a half grand's worth, but it's sensational to drive. I mean, what we're doing, nearly 130 mile an hour now, I mean, it's just epically quick. Now there's three driving modes, normal, sport and then track, and they basically change the torque bias front to rear. So normal, you've got 60% on the front, 40 on the rear. Then your sport, it's the other way around. It's 30% on the front, 70 on the rear. And then on the track, it's a 50-50 split. It's got such brilliant poise, grip, changes direction brilliantly well. God, it's good. Should we, um, should we do a lap time? First checkpoint, the Yaris is nearly two and a half seconds ahead. Come on, baby! Sun's in the way there, can't quite see where I'm going. Do you know what? The front end is really sharp and pointy. At the second checkpoint, the gap is now four and a half seconds. Come 
Come on, baby! Oh, I reckon we might be on for a low 17. 1 minute 17, something like that. And I was right, the Yaris crosses the line in 1 minute 17.72. That's a whopping 7 seconds faster than the old Celica. So while the Celica is still a legend, the sheer grip and control of the GR has battered it on track. This little Yaris is without doubt my new favourite hot hatch. If you like what you see, don't forget to click the subscribe button to be sent our latest content. And maybe drop us a comment below if there's a shootout you want to see next.